and welcome to my channel. This is Chuck, Outside Screwball. And as you can see, the Algo laser, the Delta unit, is working away right there. And I gotta tell you, I'm operating it from my phone. That's just unbelievable. So you can notice there's there's no no computer. This unit's running on Wi-Fi off of my phone, and I made all the selections and all the moves and everything off my phone. And we're doing a little picture of my my buddy Howie here. Um, so as it's cooking there, we'll see what it pops out. The I got to tell you, this unit is just awesome. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into the unboxing and everything. I'll make it real simple. As you see the unit right there, right now, it's fully assembled in the box, except for the gantry, which the laser head is moving sideways right now. The instructions are, leave it in the packing and install the gantry. That's how simple it is. You can see up here in the, in the corner, there's the air pump for the unit, plugs right in. There's a little controller right there. With my finger little controller right there that you can adjust the uh, air pressure if you want but it's all automatic you can have your computer tied to the unit nice I, you can use light burn and, and do things but the fact that you can actually control this unit right there with your phone wireless it is a wireless unit it does have an SD card in it the SD card you can actually take images or whatever you want to do and put it on the SD card and work directly off the SD card without the phone. You don't need the phone if you want to just work with the front panel that's right here on the laser. It's got a touch screen right here that right now is dark because I'm using my phone. A couple other items it has is a emergency switch here you can hit and it's got a key set up that you can actually lock the system so nobody else can use it. I tell you, it's, uh, this is the third laser I've got. Um, the frame on it, it's a little bigger than most lasers. Um, the frame on it is just stout as heck. And um, it's a 20 watt laser. And I've shown, I've shown you in the past where you can uh, go ahead and etch steel. So I've put like dimensions on these uh, parallels. The, the stainless steel, you can see the colors that can, it can do on stainless steels. It's all based on your, your uh, speed and, and uh, power. Um, fooling around with my logo. Um, I'm an amateur at the uh, laser. I'll, I'll hold my hand up and say that, but I gotta tell you, um, this this machine, the Algo Laser Delta, uh, is just it's really really a nice unit. 20 watt power, so it's got a lot of power. Um, it'll cut through up to half inch material. Um, I've been doing. I'm gonna stand in front of the camera for a second. But I've been doing my logo in oak. It'll cut through oak. Um, I'm not, you know, it's amazing what this machine will do. Really, really enjoying it. So uh, we'll pause here and we'll see what, uh, what we end up with uh, doing the engraving here. I don't know if this will show up on the camera there, but you can see it's showing me the position moves of the the gantry in X and Y. Z, of course, is staying standard because we've already set the height. And shows me the uh, lapse time. It's been going for eight minutes. And to do this engraving of Howie there, it's 20, 29 more minutes. Just, I can't, got to tell you, it's pretty awesome. The, uh, the other thing why it's running, I just wanted to mention, is right here on the right side is a, a, a lever. That you pull. It's just like an Alors tool post almost on a, on a V V drive V uh, slot. And there's a 
lever here, you drop a pin, the pin, you let the whole laser head down onto your material, sits on the pin, you go ahead and lock the laser head, press a button, the pin goes away, and now your focus is set. Just simple. Nothing, you don't have any little things you got to set up. Awesome. Anyway, we'll bring you back. Okay, well, I, I hit pause on the laser, and if you look on here, it actually shows you how far the laser has traveled on the, on the, uh, on the, on the engraving. And I'm going to pull it out. I've done a, a test on this, and so I picked 50% uh, at about 8,000, and was hoping for about a middle range here of cut into the unit here. And I'm not getting that. Pull this, pull the laser out, and as you can see, there is a little bit of variation there. You can feel it, but I'm not getting what I was hoping I was going to get. And so, with that said, I'm stopping this, and we'll try something else. But if you watch enough laser videos, you'll find out you don't always get it on the first try. Um, and since I'm using the phone, it's a little bit different for me than using Lightburn. Uh, directly on the com uh, from the computer, but uh, hey, we'll go at it again and see what we get. This is uh, something I played with earlier, which was off the computer, and uh, we'll uh, try something and bring you back. Well, just for the hay of it, so I'm gonna hit stop instead of pause. Come on, pay attention. Yep, yep. Confirm you want to stop. I want to stop. Control. Cancel. Home. And you see the unit went home. And I can go back. That's back to uh, Howie there. You can you can modify how big you want them. You can modify your position, your location. If you press this guy, you get your. You can see the unit's homing, and it's got a little laser light to show you where it's homing at. Not homing, excuse me, framing. It's showing you how to frame, where the unit position size. Laser just shut back off. Um, <laughs> you can't beat it. Let's see. Uh, go back. There's, there's the picture that I was uh, looking to try to do. You can go into your photos on your phone, pick anything out of your phone. There's, you can do text. You can do uh, the, the library that has all the different things in their library. Uh, pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited about this. Hmm, I didn't see barcodes. I'll have to look, play with that one if you can do barcodes. Now, in all the instructions that I got, step in front of here. The quick start guide. The quick start guide is is really good with putting it together, all the information you need. But nowhere, nowhere does it talk about using your phone and using the Wi-Fi and how you uh, how you do the Wi-Fi connections and things. It's really not in the instructions. The well, system's still on. I just wanted to show you that the oh, I'm still under mobile control. That's why she won't, uh, it won't uh, talk to me. Let me see if I can get out of that. Okay, here, disconnect device. Did it work? Come on, wake up. There we go. Device is not connected. Now we're back onto the screen here. And I just wanted to show you the the touch screen here, engrave, control, settings. So you can basically go into settings, give your Wi-Fi, all the different it's I tell you the whole the whole thing is touch screen right here. Don't even need a computer next to you. You can do it all right here. I'm not going to go through all the items, but it's pretty awesome. And again, I'm still learning the whole unit myself.